Today we're looking at the lessons provided by Sphero Education, their SPARK program, Schools, Parents, Robots, and Kids. Their first real lesson, Time, Speed, Distance, a Teacher Guide, is geared towards fourth and fifth grade. At least those are the content standards they give you. And it's really nice because in the teacher guide here they give you the objectives very clearly. Create a one-line program that moves Sphero steadily for a, for a specified amount of time. Perform measurements to determine the distance traveled. Perform division to complete different measure, to compare different measurements. Create a two-line program that moves Sphero to a certain position and then moves it back to where it started. So what you've got here is really the heart of what you're doing. You're creating a short program, measuring, you're doing some division to compare the measurements, and then you're writing another program. The combination of programming, measuring, and doing the applied math is nice. It keeps it very tactile and very real life, which is really one of the advantages of teaching with a robot. If we go down here, they give you a very clear description of the materials needed. Um, their group size seems to be appropriate, three to four students. And they get down to the detail of making sure the sphere is fully charged. The printout worksheet, now the printout worksheet is also available as a PDF, so if you're in a one-to-one -one situation, one of the students in the group can use their iPad and say Notability to complete the worksheet. And then they tell you the space speed. And this is really important because sometimes space is really at a premium. The next couple steps are pretty clear, but they're enumerated very nicely. Connect the Sphero, aim it, and then start working on time and distance. Now they give you screenshots of the macro lab right here so you can see what the program you're creating is. And then it gives you kind of step-by-step -step directions of exactly what they're doing for the experiment. This is really important. Ask them what they notice. Because really, you want them to observe what's going on, and you want them to think about it. The second part, they take their initial program, and they modify it, and they see what changes. This is really important, because this is basically guided exploration of Macro Lab. And then you have the challenge part, and this is what the students really usually respond to. And it has you mo it has the students modifying the program to make the Sphero move in different ways. And then this is really what they're going to be using to complete the activity on the handout. So if we look here, there's the program, and then we go down here, this is the handout. So this is really where it jumps up to you know, fourth grade level where you're having the students divide. Um, I'm sure you can modify this. If I was working with my second or third graders, I would modify this and probably just drop down the, uh, drop off the division pieces or find a different way to approach those. So all in all, this first lesson is really clear. But this isn't what I would use for the very first lesson with the students. I would probably find a time where they could work in a small group and explore the Sphero on their own, show them how it connects, give them the Drive app and the Macro Lab app, and just let them do stuff, and then have a conversation with it at the end to talk about and share their understanding of how the robot works.